Factor 4. The final factor in the fair use checklist is effect on market for the original. The person who owns the copyright of a work has the right to profit from their work. This includes selling copies of the work and licensing portions of the work for use within another setting. To avoid lessening the effect of, on the market for the original, it's best to own a copy of the work. Try to use only small portions of the work and check and see if there are any companies that license portions of the work for distribution. One of the most obvious examples of this factor is using music in a video. Just because you purchased a copy of a song from Amazon or iTunes does not give you the right to distribute that song to others as background music in a video. You must license the music that you use. Licenses are often granted by the record label, but it may be difficult to contact them, and if you are granted a license, it may be expensive. Just because you can't afford the license or because you weren't able to reach the right, right person does not mean that you should be allowed to use the music within your video. An easy option for licensing music is to use a tool like Song Freedom. Song Freedom licenses popular works for use in personal videos. For $34.99, you can license a popular song like I Will Survive by Gloria Gaynor or Ain't No Mountain High Enough by Marvin Gaye to use in your non-commercial video product projects. If you're going for a commercial product project, then the cost will be $199. A less expensive option is to use a tool called Friendly Music. For just $1.99, you can search for background music to your video that fits a certain mood or a particular type of occasion. These are not popular artists. You won't find your favorite song in here, but it does give you some good options for finding the right music for your video. For printed materials, try visiting the Copyright Clearing Center. There you can enter the title of a book or publication and will provide an estimate for what it would cost to license that work and give you the option to purchase that license from this site. If they are not able to license the work, they will let you know who to contact. One question we receive frequently is about out-of-print books. Out-of-print books are covered by a copyright. You need to track down who owns the copyright for that work and make arrangements to use it, even if you aren't able to get the book directly from Amazon. You also want to track down whether images are able to be licensed. Creative Commons Flickr site is a great tool for finding images with clear licensing options. Many of these are able to be used free of charge. McCain Library does have tools that will help you access images and music for educational purposes. For images, try ArtStore. ArtStore has images from hundreds of museums. You may use their images in slide presentations for class and for other limited audiences. These are not the types of images, though, that you want to be publishing in a video or somewhere on the web. So just be cautious when using ArtStore. Finally, for music, try an access music library. This is basically just a streaming library, kind of like Pandora, and you can't really copy the music anyway. But if you're looking to have students critique music in class, this is an, a good option for publicly presenting music. If you missed out on any of our other discussions of the other three factors, be sure to take a look at our other videos and make sure to remember that McCain Library is happy to talk through the fair use checklist with you. We want to make sure that you're copyright compliant, so we're willing to spend as much time as you need talking through the issues.